Hey, good morning guys. Welcome to another video. Might be able to pull off a little mini series if the uh, if the trip turns out as good as I hope it does. It's December 16th. Sorry, I'm a little winded climbing through the brush. It's December 16th, 10.05 a.m. I'm on a top secret mission to recover a shed antler my buddy spotted on a late hunt. So it should be pretty funny. Sent me some pictures of videos and stuff where it's at. So I'm gonna do my best to find it and uh, pick it up for him. It was two miles away when he saw it and uh, he was out hunting. Didn't wanna come snag it. So he sent me the pin and said, go check it out. And I'm like, well, I'll go check that out and I'll scout, hopefully find the other side and uh, just kind of see what's going on. More than anything, guys, it's just a really good excuse for me to get out and hike around. So yeah, we're gonna be doing a little shed hunting, a little scouting, like I said. We cover this antler at least we well if i can find it we'll at least have one best season yet 3.0 is over hopefully you guys enjoyed our hunting season and now you can see what we're up to through the winter months um before shed season well well guys just dropping down this canyon finally decided you know even though it's thick and i have the shade working against me i'm gonna throw up my binoculars boom big old antler upside down in the bushes need to confirm it i can tell it's an antler but i'm gonna go ahead and drop the uh spotting scope we're gonna put the phone scope up for you guys looks like a decent shed six point frame from what i can tell i can't see it all because i think some of it is buried so much in the bush but maybe the spotting scope will help me confirm exactly what it is <laughs> I love glass and sheds up hey hey it is a right side antler third fourth fifth yeah it looks like a six point so let me show you guys in the bone scope exactly what it looks like Ooh, I got the wrong attachment for my scope, dang it. Gosh, I was worried about that. I got so many floating around. I'll have to do my best. So there it is. That's uh, pretty easy to spot when you're glassing like that. It's in the dark shade, and then you just see a white bone with obviously the tine length and the shape of an antler. It's pretty easy to confirm something like that. So we'll pack up and go get it. All right, let's break this down. I'll glass a little bit while I... Well, I can, and then uh, we'll go grab that. All right, we're getting some elevation. We're just kind of across from it, but that shed's right there. Let me zoom in for you guys. So I'll put it dead center. Right side, it looks pretty decent. It's got a fairly long front end, so I'm excited to get over there and see what the heck it is and uh, hopefully turn up the match. There's not a ton, but we're getting into some elk sign tracks and old droppings. So that's always a plus too, but man, they like this thick brush as usual. Gosh dang, I live in some thick stuff. Heck yeah. Ooh, we got a seven. One, two, three. Nice little seven point. Pretty big burr on that thing. Week one. The two is what I saw. Thought it had better fronts, but I just saw that two. Yeah, inline seven. That's awesome. Well, it's so steep and brushy. Instead of trying to film the pickup, we're just going to pick it up. Look at that. <laughs> what a unique base. He had something something funky going on with his burr and then it grew weird. So this would have been this year's browns. That's what I was hoping I'd find some of those. Yeah, really cool, heavy, stubby little guy in line seven. I like it. I like it. I think he was on this trail right here. If I had to guess, so I might um I might head up this trail this way. 
we are getting close to where my buddy dropped me a pin for the shed and it was just an educated guess off what he could see so i studied the pictures in a short video he took through the scope and thought it was maybe a little further up so even with the pin in this mess it's going to be tough to find but clearly with that knowledge should be able to find it well we've been saying if you find balloons it's good luck so I'm about to strike gold apparently because I just found five <laughs> we'll pick those up and stash them out of here still haven't found that shed but I just think it's uh, south of me a little bit and I just got to this like creek bottom look down it and then just right out of the creek bottom there's a left side unders heck that's the other side to this one no way guys to find an elk antler in this mess is lucky enough to find a set is way lucky holy cow he's got that funny front his g1 is longer but he's got this funny like band and bubble in him i can't believe i matched that guy up <laughs> heck yeah we'll take it though so that's at least one set and a single in here that i know of um, again, still haven't found that other bigger one. It's supposedly big. Yep. That's him. <laughs> Goofy sucker. Especially this side. But yeah, he's got some type of bubble right out of his base. It just kind of bubbles and bends really funny. Pretty sweet bull, stoked. I mean, heck, it's December, so can't complain about a nice little hard white set like that, and they're in great condition because they haven't had to go through the wet, snowy winter. Pretty decent burrs on them. Yeah, nice bull. Check that out. Stubby. <laughs> Look how close the Royal and the Fifth are. And then this side he got more typical back end, just a straight six point, but a better front. Yes, sir. Let's go get that big one. Yes. Oh my gosh, that took forever to figure out which hill was the right hill. And I'm I'm still not 100% sure, but I'm almost sure that the, the shed my buddy glass is right below me. The whole goal of me coming out here was to pick that up and try to find the match. And I can't say for sure but I've got a bomber of a shed right below me. And it's a right side, and he was convinced that the other one was a left side. So chances are this is a set, and it's a freaking dang good one. Yeah, check that out. The, the G1 and 2 are right there in the center of the screen. <sighs> oh, so sweet is right there down in the bottom. Let's go get that thing. Can't say for sure, but guessing this is the match to the one he sent me in here for. If not, we got we got a couple slammers to find. Heck yeah. That thing is nearly fresh brown. Oh my gosh, I'm glad I found this on my way in because if I didn't see it from up there and picked up the other side first, I might not have ever matched them up down in this bottom, but check that out. It is nearly perfect condition, guys. We're gonna let this one just chill right here. Heavy, heavy bull, pretty bull. Dang, nice and brown. That other one, um, I was headed down straight at it, so I'm guessing it's about halfway up on this little hill right out of this bottom. <laughs> he was right. He said it was laying in the wide open. Holy cow. You lucky sucker. You lucky sucker to spot that big old beast right here. Even luckier probably was to find the other side. Gorgeous bull. This one's chewed up on the main beam a little bit. But God, he's got a nice frame. That other one, being down in the bottom and in the shade, is still got a lot more color. I cannot believe he glassed this up from two miles away. <laughs> oh, man. What a stud. What a lucky guy to glass that up. We both got lucky. For him to glass this in the first place, 
pure luck. For me to stumble on the other side on the way down is pretty lucky where it's laying because that thing is hidden. Just goes to show, man. I, I've been doing circles around this thing. If you're just not right on them, you're not going to see them. But oh, what a pretty bull. He said he thought there was something going on on the back end, but it must have just been his angle or the lighting because it's about as pretty as a six point you can get. Feel pretty lucky to be the first one to lay hands on this thing. <laughs> Guys, is my buddy crazy or what? I mean, he was a long ways away and he was, he was focused on the hunt, but if you glassed a shed like this, would you go get it? I know I would, even if I had to do it in the night just to, just to kill my curiosity, but man, they just don't get much prettier than that frame. This bull, had he come back here this year, or he still could be alive, he'd be a great bull. One more year on him. The squirrels or something got him back here, but every other than that, and, and right in this little bottom of the third is, is just untouched. Just a gorgeous bull. I mean, that's the frame you want. Not weak on anything. Not really long on the main beam, but mass is good, tine length is good. That third is super cool. Overall, to me, a giant it's a giant shed and lucky enough we've already got the other side so we're walking out of here with at least two sets both of them seem to be hard white or this last spring this last spring's brown so pretty awesome look at that sucker mm, give me some of that white bird and those big tines awesome let's go get the other side I can't believe I've been able to pull out two sets in this jungle. I mean, it's so thick. I got so lucky to just see these tines as I was coming down because I would have I would have got this and just kind of been like, well, probably made some loops, but I don't know if I had to come up this bottom. He must have been bedded here or something. But yeah, that's pretty sweet. We'll get them both and together and pick them up. All right, moment of truth. Pulling this out of his resting place. <laughs> like I said, man, this thing is almost, almost mint condition. Doesn't have chews like the other side. No critters down here that had found it yet, I guess. Little sun bleached on this side. All right, let's put them together. What a dandy. Gorgeous, gorgeous bull. So symmetrical. Not weak on anything. Just a little chewed up on the main beam here. But yeah, <laughs> what a tank. He's got the look too, especially with those thirds. Kind of swoop out and got a little turn to him at the end. Gorgeous bull. Happy I can be the one to put my hands on them. I, I told my buddy if I pick them up, he can have them. I just wanted to go look, and I said, you know I'll find the other side if it's still there. <laughs> Lucky for me, I proved to be right. God, that's a cool bull. Sweet. Check out the burrs on this guy. Nothing giant, but good burrs. Um, yeah. Man, he is symmetrical. Gotta love it. Take this back to the pack and try to find some more. Well, you can see my boot tracks just cruising right here. Turn the bush and boom. Looks to be another hard white or what you'd call brown from this last year. <laughs> Sweet. Down low, kind of on this benchy stuff. I got sick of hiking through the thorns. So came down here and Looks like some of the bulls are even down here, but that's three bulls in this general area that all shed this year. So that's awesome. This is what you call a grab and go. No need for a pickup. You guys get the point. Nice brown. Sweet. How many other bulls are shed in here? 
Man, I might come back here tomorrow. I haven't even put a dent in it. Well, they've been shedding in here for years. Holy smokes. How about that artifact? Pretty heavy. Must be waterlogged or something, but we'll leave that right there. We're just walking up this little bottom. Since that's where I found that big set, I'm like, well, maybe they like using these bottoms, but just trying to weed them out of the thick brush as usual. Slowly started to gain some elevation. My my heart and my eyes always want to go high because I can glass a little better. But I just wasn't glassing any sheds up high. And I was like, man, I know it's thick, but you'd think if there's a big white one or just a nice white one out there, I'd be able to glass it. Well, I sat down. Trust me, I gave it like 10 passes, about gave up. I stood up and just the difference of sitting and standing, I caught some tines just over the top of a like a gray rock. So I don't know what it is, but I could see two white tines up there. But the good news is, I think, is it gets me high and allows me to glass some more. So where there's one, there's usually more, but if it's directly across from me. I'm just gonna get some elevation and go snag it. All right, I'm pretty sure that's the rock I glass. The shed's somewhere behind that green, that gray bush. Definitely a shed. Nice. Whew. Man, that one is up here. Chewed on. Hey, this is not a bad shed. <laughs> and there's the other side. Oh, I love glassing sheds, guys. I love glassing them. You just know you're gonna get more. Rodents have been munching on these ones. Sweet, that's a solid set. Good condition, honestly, besides the chews. This one held up a little better, but heck yeah, three freaking sets today in a single. Probably dump this one first. God, if they weren't chewed, they'd be in great shape. They might even also be this year's. Something, something's been eating on those pretty good. Cause they are this year's, I believe. Pretty solid little set. Heck, we'll take it. There's still more daylight, but it's time to turn around. This was a bigger push to get up here than I thought. So I'm running out of daylight. Time to go. <sighs> to the stash. Three more to add. <laughs> How about that load, guys? Oh man, what a day. That is awesome. Well, sun's going down. It's uh, 424. I'm packing everything up and just bombing out. Got a ways to get to the truck. Most likely be hiking through the dark depending on how fast I move and if I find more sheds, which there's a good chance I find more sheds. But even if not, what a killer day. I'm sure you guys would agree. A lot of fun. Glad I came. Really glad I came. Can we get them? Short day, short December day. These crows have been following me. I think I'm gonna die or something.
can I do it anymore like I used to? <laughs> oh. oh shoot, I gotta get my binos on. Yes, sir. I had plenty of pack outs like these in the spring, but it's been a minute. Packed out some meat, so hopefully I'm still in decent shape. We'll get the belt buckle buckled up and get out of here, but that's a good look. Well, if I had to guess, something uh, decided to play around with that. Look, it's all muddy. It's been flipped around. I think an elk thought it was fun to brush it around so I don't need that I got enough but we're gonna count it so what's that six seven that's number eight don't forget number eight heading out beautiful day man holy cow might have got me a little sunburn today too that's a nice sight Whew. holy crap well I pushed it hard didn't have to walk in the dark too far, but made it to the pickup. Come on. <laughs> Something's caught. Oh, let's take them off. What a sight. Sheds in the truck. Looks good. Right where they belong. Now we get water.